up everybody this is your girl miss p i don't know why i have so much energy today but um i hope that it just goes straight through your screen this is another review for you guys make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video that lets me know while you watching just hit the thumbs up that lets me know that you want to see another one okay just make sure that you see you could hit that thumbs up right now go ahead and do it. and also if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel i'm gonna need you to go ahead and do that make sure to get into one of my favorite apps feature points i love it because it's the holiday seasonal so i mean everything doubles up so you can cash in your points and get paypal credit and all that good stuff make sure to use the code down below if you want to get it in with the december loser challenge make sure to send me an email okay it is coming to a close because you know january gonna be here before we know we're gonna blink and it's gonna be christmas if you need meal plans workouts motivation from your girl make sure to send me an email my email is listed down below and make sure to come on and get on in there okay because like i said it's coming to a close house oh no yuck okay sidebar at harris tita they got a six pack make your own y'all know i go by presentation you can't do that with alcohol you cannot do that with the alcohol have y'all tried the ciroc apple that came out it's good by itself it's like a jolly rancher but then after a minute you like okay i could have had something else i went and got this gingerbread spice ale because you know it's the holiday season mm -mm, no mm -mm. Okay, I get the spiced part and the gingerbreadish, but it still tastes like hot piss. This amber ale is crafted with ginger and molasses to capture the familiar taste of gingerbread on a cold winter night. Uh-uh. I loves my drinks. I just don't go as overboard as I used to, but bad, bad. This is going to be a no. This is in the seasonal collection, but mm, mm Down below in the comment section, I would love to know what is your go-to holiday drink. It does not have to be alcoholic. It can be alcoholic, you know. It's totally up to you. Put that down below in the comment section. I would love to see it. And let's go ahead and get into this review. Candy and Sheree go to see uh, Kenya at the Moore Manor. It still ain't done. She's like, oh my God, it's going to be done. I, mm, -mm. Mm -mm. Sheree is like, ooh, be careful, girl. Oh, my God, these leaves are so slippery, girl. It's like we had six flags. You Did you feel that, Candy? Oh, my God, Candy. Like, oh, Lord. They're still going back and forth on whose house was going to be built when. It don't matter. Ain't none of your house up yet. You ain't sleeping there. You ain't go to Mattress Firm and get you a new bed. You ain't do none of that. You ain't get you no cute pot and pan says yet. You ain't in there. Portia and her bestie, Shamia, they're shopping. And here comes Fei Fei to go shopping with them. And they are preparing to go to Miami. Portia and Kenya are coming together to plan this trip. It's like a part number two of the boat trip from the first time when it was the kick fight. Based on the previews of next week, the shot is gonna go down anyway. I was about to say, oh, that's great that they're in the States for this one. No, it don't matter where they go. They, they just can't be trusted. They trying on a nice little bag of souls and stuff. Go ahead, Portia, come on, buddy. Go ahead, Portia. Anybody can come on the trip, including Tammy. Candy is like, well, I don't know Tammy like that. That was like my first little interaction with Tammy, but if Tammy wanna come, she can come. Did anybody see her? Coming to the boat last night. Okay. I like being in the same Okay, sorry. Escape took over me. Kim is coming too. Yes, Tootie. No fruit snacks this time. No. Mm -mm, no goldfish crackers. No fruit snacks. No Lunchables. No books. Nothing. Just yourself, okay? Speaking of Tootie, she's getting ready. Oh, I love the relationship with her and her kids. I absolutely love it. And her son was like, are you gonna read to me, mommy? And she was like, yes, baby. I'll FaceTime you and I'll... You know what? For trip number one, that is okay. Trip number two, three, and four, you're gonna have to say, now, Chris, you're gonna have to read the little tuck tuck okay um i'll call you early in the day but at night i'm gonna be ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. i don't even know if i can see straight to read child i get it though the first trip it's it's okay kim it's okay it's time to go hercules hercules portion she done took all her louis vuitton like like all of it she just said put all of it yeah just take even the bag that i don't even need just put some random shat in oh i was not expecting tammy's husband okay okay cute hey tammy is late per usual she's pregnant with her husband they talking about who gonna get what room kim is like hold up can we go off of who's the most famous i said <laughs> yes kim yes you can because you are you gonna be the most famous yeah kim feels big okay just come on mama with janet mama in good times don't cry mama no mama don't do it mama and your sister with 
with Diana and Sister Sister. Jamia is already there because she's besties with Portia and Portia and Kenya are putting the trip together. So <laughs> I felt just like Candy. Well, damn. Girl, you better do it, girl. But damn, girl. Kenya is so petty, boo. She was like, you is the hell, honey. You the hell. That's a crew house. I said, this is cute. I like that. Lord, Kim wanted the living room with the couch. Baby, you got a bed that you can lay in, boo. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, pumpkin. Uh-uh, you are not living single. This is not a 90s kind of world. You got your girls. Keep your head up, what? <laughs> Candy Cane, Sheree, Portia, and Kenya, I believe, are the girls in the room that were talking about Tammy. And Kenya, Kenya always talking about something damn body. Always, even though I do laugh at Tammy, I do. Somebody asked Sheree about Tammy, and Kenya has to divulge the family business. Did your mom ever say that? Don't you talk about family business in front of other people? She was talking about the family business, what they were talking about in the car, even though it was taped and she was gonna see it anyway. You don't do that. Oh, Sheree was like, yeah, they were friends, besties, ex-lovers, everybody was what? Huh? For real? It's time to eat. Everybody getting all cute. <laughs> Tammy, I could not with Faye Faye talk about chai. See no music. Jesus was here. <laughs> I your number speak, Lord. <laughs> you ain't got no purse, girl. She was like, no, I don't. Oh, come on. That's y'all's fault. That's y'all's friend. Okay, so they make it to the restaurant. Yes, Kim, for being famous. Yes. The driver was like, oh my God, I love you. I've been watching you all my life. Kim was like, thank you, baby. I appreciate it, baby. Thank you. Ooh, that restaurant, Barton G, looked like something I would go to. It looked all crazy and out of the ordinary. I like that type of stuff. So they're talking, they're enjoying it. And Kim is like, oh my God, it's almost hitting like 19 hours that I've been away from my family. But I just want to let you guys know that I, I'm not leaving just yet. But I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Candy like, oh my goodness, you cried earlier. Hush. Cry baby. Okay, you gonna cry right now. Be quiet. And Kim was like, uh-uh, I don't need you judging me. They asked Cynthia, how's everything going with Peter? And Cynthia was like, you know what? Everything is going as good. You got I mean, you're trying. We're trying. And I guess so. I didn't feel that in her throat. I didn't feel no um strength in that. It was weak. It was real weak. They talk about Tammy CWB, a uh, cute white boy. I said, look, you better, you better acronym Tammy. And then Sheree just butt in out of nowhere. And she was like, um, I didn't know that me and you had problems. Did we have problems? What's up, cuz? Right in the middle of the meal, guys. Here's the thing with Sheree. She done been on Fix My Life. She done dealt with Bob's ass. She really don't give a fuck no more. She really don't care. Out of nowhere, did you sleep with Bob? Did you? Kim's face. I was off the floor. Tammy handled that could have been a fight if it wasn't Tammy me situation just like I knew she would wow that's how you feel like whoa I, I can't believe he said that but uh whoa oh whoa oh 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 my god can I get another beer oh okay <laughs> all right Kenya through this whole thing was of course super quiet talking to the waitress and then the question comes up from Tammy like where'd you hear this from like who who said it and of course Sheree, she was like, uh huh, over there, huh? He was like, wait, 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 wait. I didn't say that she didn't like you. I just said what she had said so that she could say it before it came back around. And he would have asked, like, why didn't you say anything? What? Kim, she was like, are we grown ass women at this table talking about who don't like whom? Kim, yes, sweetie. I love that Kim adds that normalcy. Like, she like, hold up, I don't do deal with this on a regular basis. Like, y'all really doing this? Yes, Kim. She said, what's the difference between information versus instigation? Yes, double I. Double R what? He was like, wait, hold on. Were you talking to me? Yes, she was. That was directed towards you. Even though Kim was like, no, that was for the whole table. It was for you. But I understand what Candy was trying to say, how it was going to get out either way. But let that get out between them. You ain't got to butt your ass in everything. You ain't got to do that. It is the next day. Day number two, Kim is worshiping. Yes, on the water. Come on, Jesus. Portia wants to do a redo of the boat trip. I said, oh, God. Kim and Fei Fei are talking about the night before, as are Sheree and Kenya, of all people, talking about the night before. I said, what the hell did y'all become boom, boom buddies? Oh, okay, I guess it was because it was between you two. Okay, got it. You know what? I can see where Sheree was coming from. It was going to be negative regardless, but I really see where Kim is coming from. It was messy. It was like, um, what was your reasoning for doing that? I'm trying to get it. Time is time for the boat. 
Fei Fei comes out, whole ass out, but we used to that. We used to it. Come on, legs, Cynthia, come on. Portia in the whole back that ass up. Okay, Portia. Yes, Candy was like, you know what? I feel like shit and I ain't gonna go on the boat. Everybody was like, you need somebody to say what you know. I'ma just lay here and eat my snack. Boat ride number two. So they get on the boat ride safely. I wanna learn that handstand leg open that Shamia did. Well, she had a little bit of assistance, so I can pull that off if I got some assistance with me. Lord, <laughs> it was time to get drinks. Everybody telling them what you want. Kim was like, just cranberry juice. Kim needs some hitting straight. Just straight hit it out and mellow her ass out. She be fine. They meet some dudes and they're like, hey, you want to eat with us up on the top floor? They get ready to eat. And Kim is like, oh my God, I can't do this. She waltzes out. Uh, Fei Fei runs behind her. She's like, girl, what's going on? What's wrong with you? Kim doesn't understand the turn up, the dancing with your girlfriends, the drinking random drinks, uh, the talking to random people. She just doesn't understand that. She doesn't get it. <laughs> That is so sweet that she loves her family and her boo, but that is, it's normal, boo. You just got to get out a little bit more and break your little shell. You ain't got to bust it wide open and turn up all the time. It's about what you find that's fun. You just got to break out of your shell a little bit more and realize what your comfort zone is. It's new. I get it. Bless her heart. Bless your heart, Kim. I really, really like how Fei Fei was talking to her and was giving a little vulnerability. I like that. I said, you know what, Fei Fei? You better turn a new leaf, girl. It's not all the way turned, but I see what you're trying to do. When it was time for them to come back to the table, everybody looking at Kim like, man, really? Kenya, you hush, girl. You ain't married. Cynthia, you hush, girl. You halfway ain't married. And everybody else at the table, just be quiet. I don't even get them no seats. Raggedy heifers. Portia has a new dude that she looking at named Oliver and other dudes that are sitting at the table. Everybody was like, where's Tammy at? Tammy came back. She was like, meet my nephew, Glenn. This is my nephew. Yeah. Kenya was like, hey, Diddy. Hey, Glenn. Like, oh no, okay, I'm gonna sit over here with my aunt. They're heading back to the house with all of the strangers. I said, Whoa, whoa, okay, real world. While they're on their way back to the house, Kenya snaps at Glenn, like, Hey, little boy, what's your name again? He said, Oh, damn, hey, uh uh, I know good damn well you ain't snapping me, bitch. I know you didn't. She was like, Oh my god, I was just trying to get your attention. He said, You better figure out another way. I said, Oh. Kenya, your face done went out the sea, girl. You can't get that bitch. You cannot snap. Everybody ain't gonna turn when you say that. Girl, that's some humble pie for you. you that's some humble pie for that ass, girl. That was the episode. This one, Lord have mercy. Down below in the comments, let's talk about this. What did you think about Tammy? and Sheree and Kenya. What'd you think about that? Let's comment down below. Comment down below, let me know. What would you do if you were in that situation? I also wanna know, what did you think about Kim? Let's talk about this down below. The shout outs will be back next week. So make sure to comment. I will see you guys on the next review. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless, bye.